Good day, everyone. I'm your brother in Christ, Brother Dr. Philip Masterson. I'm here today on behalf of our health and wellness ministry to share with you a medical moment. But first, I want to wish all of you and your families a wonderful, merry Christmas and a delightful new year. I think 2020 is a year we all will be glad to look at in the rear view mirror. As we celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and the upcoming holidays, please be thoughtful and careful and continue to follow current health care recommendations during this COVID-19 pandemic. Wear a mask, wash your hands frequently, and minimize the number of people you allow into your social circle. God willing, this time next year, especially now that we have a new vaccine, we can return back to our normal lives. To God be the glory. If you're familiar with US history, 100 years ago, a term was used to describe the 1920s as the Roaring Twenties. There were many reasons the 1920s were called Roaring, but one reason was because many people rejected moral standards defied prohibition, and crime significantly increased. It was a time of marked social change. Since COVID-19 has invaded our world with this current pandemic, this year, 2020, might also be described as the new Roaring Twenties. This year has also been a period of marked social change. The war, world is at war with the coronavirus and the pandemic it has produced. You might say that we are now engaged in World War III. With any war, it has been said that the first casualty is always the truth. Since COVID-19 has invaded our world, millions of people have become infected with this virus and tens of thousands have now died from it. In the United States alone, as of today, more than 17 million Americans have contracted the virus, and many of them have suffered greatly and become very ill. More than 310,000 Americans have now died. These numbers are staggering and difficult to even comprehend. With each individual's death, there's also the pain sorrow, suffering, and great sense of loss from family and friends who have lost a loved one. This crisis has also put our country in a state of chaos. My friendship family, we have entered into a dark healthcare crisis that the world and the United States have not faced in 100 years. Despite our modern technology, intellect, and resources, thousands of people are dying needlessly every day from a preventable disease simply because they won't follow healthcare recommendations to stop the spread of COVID-19. Social distancing, frequent hand washing, and most importantly, wearing a face mask covering your mouth and nose helps prevent you from acquiring this disease. Unfortunately, many Americans still don't believe that the COVID-19 virus is real. Quote, I thought it was a hoax, unquote. This is a statement I've heard from several patients I've treated in my emergency room who contracted COVID-19. How can healthcare providers help prevent a disease if individuals don't even believe it exists. So many of these unbelieving individuals have now become infected, and unfortunately, some have died from their disbelief and lack of precautions. The world is at war with COVID-19. Although I'm completely confident in God's time, we will win this war. I'm also personally saddened by the fact that because of disinformation, 
misinformation, conspiracy theories, anecdotal social media texts and tweets, poor political leadership, and frankly, outright lies, thousands more will lose their battle with this virus and die. Matthew 7 and 15 tells us, beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. My friendship family, I'm asking all of us to be careful where you acquire your source of information about this pandemic and where the truth lies. Regardless of the political party you prefer, most politicians are polished, professional prevaricators. I'm not asking you to trust me either. Romans 3 and 4 tells us, yea, let God be true, but every man a liar as it is written. We must pray for the truth and discernment of the spirit. 1 John 4 and 1, beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. The world has been praying for a vaccine, and God has now blessed us with two. One by the Pfizer company has now been approved by the FDA, and plans to administer the vaccine in the U.S. are now underway. As a physician and healthcare provider, I have been following the science carefully. I personally believe the vaccine is safe and prayerfully will also prove to be very effective. I plan to be immunized with the new vaccine before the end of 2020. Already, the anti-vaxxers and conspiracy theorists are spewing disinformation and lies. Quote, if you get the shot, they're going to inject a tiny 5G microchip into your arm so they can monitor everything you do and everywhere you go, unquote. Friendship, the enemy is very busy. One reason a virus is so dangerous and deadly is because most of us, even some healthcare providers, have difficulty relating to them. As humans, we are not able to detect viruses with our human senses. We cannot smell, taste, touch, hear, or even see viruses with the naked eye. Only with extreme magnification using an electron microscope are we able to detect a virus at all. Due to the fact that viruses are so intangible, many people have a tendency to disregard their presence with deadly consequences. It's hard to imagine that your smiling friend or family member in the same room with you can be infected with COVID-19 and furthermore can infect you. Of course, we must also maintain our economy and our livelihoods, but we must do it in a creative, thoughtful, and safe manner to mitigate the loss of health and lives. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Hosea 4 and 6. My friendship family, I am imploring you to stay vigilant during these challenging times and tribulations. Trust the Holy Spirit to guide you and your families. Continue to pray for one and the other. God's got this. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as I so prosper. Third John, the second verse. God bless.